to you guys in a bit, but first let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We start with a classic battle in the NFC. First carry now for David Montgomery. Oh, able to avoid him. And they get it. Fields on third down. That's going to be caught along the sideline. And what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Giants are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That'll be taken in there by Kitty. From the 35 on second down, Jones. They'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. Chicago heading out to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York football Giants. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. We're set, going to go to the air right away. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Now Brissett. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Seven. Here's Mariota. That completes to Drake London. And he'll work it across. Throwing. Mariota. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cleveland Browns. Marcus Mariota, a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home. Hurts. And able to get this one across the 40. Second down, back to Sanders. They find some open field here. And all the way to the two-yard turn. Might he go for it? Third and goal. Here's the option left. And he's here. Fly Eagles touchdown. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Throwing left side, it's complete. Here's Lawrence to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And that game's all tied up as they play the visiting Jaguar. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Washington. And they didn't get a whole lot done in the rushing department in those first two quarters. They probably feel pretty lucky to be tied here at halftime. 